Welcome to the Orleans Arena in Las Vegas. This is the one we've been waiting for. Top seed is Gonzaga taking on number two, St. Mary's. Now some bad news for the Zags today. Freshman Manny O'Rourke broke his foot in last night's game against LMU. He had eight rebounds before leaving the game in the second half, but the news came down today that he's out for the season, and he'll have surgery on Wednesday. The Zags will lose a big spark off the bench, but they have a huge game that they must focus on. Uh, you know, coming in, I mean, all week, uh, we've been just working on, uh, you know, really, you know, being in attack mode instead of being, you know, reactive, um, which I think happens, you know, has tended to happen with this, this team, um, you know, when we've struggled. Uh. You know, this isn't the McCarthy Center, but these fans are going to make it feel like a home game tonight for GU. They don't love them. fans, but the Gale fans are going to throw it right back every time he works the paint. He's going to get the ball a lot. The Gales are going to dump it in inside because they need this win to get the bid to the NC2A tournament. I caught up with the big man before the game. It always does. I mean, the, the history between me and Gonzaga goes back, you know, before some of the guys on the team were even there, you know, so uh, I don't like them a lot. They don't like me a lot, and uh, it's always it always makes for a good show and a good battle. So, yeah, it, it does play into it. Uh, you know, I mean, they say success is the best revenge, so a win would definitely, uh, definitely erase the two losses in my mind, at least. So, yeah, exactly. That's that's definitely a goal. Obviously, this is more than just another game for Sam Han. He's going to get it in the paint, but he's going to dish it out to Della Vadova for the long-range shot. He put up career-high numbers. He had 23 against the Zags in January. Let's take it to the game. Della Vadova does an offense, but he also does it on defense. He picks up the steal and gives the assist to McConnell. McConnell will go and lay it up to get the Gales going on a 7-0 run. He would end the game leading all scorers with 26. Mr. Matthew Bolden trying to get something going for Gonzaga early. He's playing in his last WCC game ever. Drains the three. He leads the Zags in scoring in the first half. Nothing working inside here, so the Gales dish it out to Ben Allen, who from behind the arc nails the three. He would have 10 points at the end of the half. Early on in the second, the top-seeded Zags still have not led in this one until Rob Sacre finds Dimitri Goodson, who puts it in and draws the foul. Zags up by one. Omar Samhan steps up the defense. He'll get one block on this play, but the ball stays in possession, and he gets another one. The Gales move it up court. McConnell drops it down to Samhan, who does post work. One, one dribble, two dribbles, shoulder bump, and the bucket. He says, let's do it again. These Gale fans have no problem with that. Game starting to slip away from Gonzaga, but Elias Harris trying to keep them in it. Rob Sacre floats up the alley oop. Zags come to within 10. But it's simply not enough. The Gales are quick in transition. McConnell gives it to Page. Page will go up and draw the foul. He knocks it down and seals the deal for the Gales. They go on to win 81 to 62. We kind of just played within ourselves and uh, the same thing happened last night. We kind of just stick to our game plan and shots started falling. We got some open looks and we got out to a lead. Uh, it was unbelievable, speechless really, but um, you know, we know we came into the game uh, as our third try. We lost the first two, we knew the third one's going to be the charm and we just played with ultimate confidence and we got the win. With a big performance and a big game, the Gales punched their ticket to the dance. They locked their spot in the field of 64. The Gonzaga Bulldogs came into this one as the clear favorite, but they leave Vegas empty-handed. The Gales outplayed the Zags in almost every way. They hadn't beaten GU at all this year, but their only win came when it mattered the most to them. And you watched it all right here on WCCSports.com. Thank you for watching all of our in-depth coverage. For Lindsay Joy, I'm Brian Navarro, WCC-TV.